All right, welcome to Final Fantasy 16. Woohoo! Finally, the day is here. I know we had a little bit of teaser fun with the demo, which is the prologue to the game. So I'll be starting from after the prologue, so after the demo. I'll be continuing on with the same save data. I'm super excited. So excited, so excited. It's been a long wait. Oh, maybe not as long a wait considering there weren't any setbacks with this one. But yes, very excited. Thank you all for coming to join me for this Final Fantasy 16 experience. If you have a good time too, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I'd love to see you commenting in all the videos. Yes. Though I'm not going to be looking at comments until after I finish the game, just in case spoilers. Please know I will read them eventually. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thirteen years later. Year of the Realm 873. Uh, poor Clive. Clive is not at a good life. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Don't give me a sword, of all people. After you do, that is. I don't want to get Chiva's head. I like Chiva. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. All right, here we go. Trophy earned. Awaken, awoken, rather. <laughs> New abilities! Um... Okay. Ooh. How do they Did you hear that? Hear what? Down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Ironblood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Mm. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. I don't want to kill Shiva. I assume that's what we're supposed to do here, and I don't want to do it. That was a different language. If she's no ice left in you, then steel will have to serve. Let's try a uh, lock on was this button? Yes. One, two. One, two, one, two. Okay. Um, shift this one? 
Oh yeah, it makes me go phew, get closer. Uh, she doesn't appear to be taking any damage whatsoever. <laughs> oh, a little bit. No, she is, she is. Especially since I just used all my super skills. Jump, jump. Let's use Phoenix Shift and then. Pew, 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 pew. Wasn't there a one, two, three, four? Like a four. Oh, that was a nice dodge by my accessory. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then one, two. Daggered! So cool. Dagger damage. Almost 3,000. That might be good. That might be not good. I'm not sure. Uh oh, everyone's getting icy. Balls, 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 balls. Fucking icons. Icon? She's not even fully primed. Fucking icons. I wonder how long it's gonna take before the swearing in FF stops being funny. Maybe never. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, one, two. Fire, fire. Yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, she's almost down. I just did a little hop. <laughs> like, hop! Hop, skip, and a jump. Leave me be! Oh no, she's bizarreing me! Ow, 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 ow! You got no health! Lost. Oh, there we go. Shiva defeated. Spoils! Now to but experience. Oh no, I got a bunch of shit. Frozen tear potion, high potion, steel silk. Think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, that's what I was pretty sure. It's Jill, right? No, no, that. But how is Jill? Not here. Oh, uh, I'll bloody do it then. No, 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 no. Oof! Ouch! Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Having way too much fun with the swearing. We've got company, Wyvern. <laughs> yeah, he probably is like, um... Uh, Jill, you want to wake up and help? I'm guaranteed you are better at this than me. I know her. Know her. Look around you. Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here. I'm here. I'm here. Jeez, I'm helping. They're all pretty weak anyway. Says me. <laughs> That's 
done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Oh no, am I gonna have to fight him? Yep. Betray. I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think oh, I yikes. Don't? The empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, son. Will you not let me? Oh, yeah, you will. Okay. You pick two, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's like a dance. Me dancing, doing my steps. Okay. Yeah. Do do do. I like how it's it's like it's serious. It's like serious music, but it's still do 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 kind of. <laughs> oh, I'm level eleven. Can't wait to level up. I love leveling up. <laughs> I really do. Oof. You got a lot of people to kill, Clive. I want to get Jill. And run. Oh, all right. Shit's going down. This is very cinematic. more from the mighty titan she's so cool with the ice queen on her back no doubt but you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price my lady the thunder We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Yeah.
Yeah. Jill, it's Jill. Jill. Is it really you? She's going to freak out when she wakes up. Papa? And who's this fine hound I see before me? It's Papa! A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. Torgal! You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. <laughs> Clive Rosfield. <gasps> Knows who we are. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No, oh, Clive's gonna be like, yep, yep. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Don't touch my Jill! Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bag waiting. It's alright. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Yes. Definitely helping. Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Let's go, Toggle! I'm gonna keep calling Papa. <laughs> Papa! So cute! Oh, it's map! Map time! So this is where we started, right? Yeah. This is our home, except not home anymore, because Mommy Dearest is a bitch. Jill to wake up. I want to see if they have, like, a cutesy, cutesy moment. Or if she's just like, what the fuck? Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. No neighbors! Yeah. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. Home, sweet home. Do 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 Whoa, the hideaway. The hideaway is really badass. Move! This place. These are 
all in ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? So nope, I will not eat your apple. You're back. Ah, tired. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Wow. None will. Don't fret about Karen. None of these names are spelled in a way that I'm going to remember. <laughs> I have to check check the active active whatever it's called. <laughs> Hide hideaway. Local map. Okay, cool. Ooh, look. Little map. Okay, Sid's hideaway. A refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. Very nice. Let's look at the Deadlands. The Deadlands, barren waste bef bereft of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unusual. Unusual? <laughs> I'm making up words now. Unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Uh, let's look at the Fallen. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valisthia. I hope I got that right. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Okay. Okay, I already don't remember how to pronounce her name. It's Taya or something? Let's look at Sid first. Sidolphus. Sid. Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nyssa Defile. Nyssa? 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 Hmm. Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to the secret hideaway in the Deadlands. I think it was Taya or something. Taya. Taya. Hmm. Resident Physica. Physica? Of Sid's hideaway. Taya is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions, skills that are indispensable in their deadland home, where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to Nysa Defile, she is placed under Taya's care. Okay! Active Time Law. We gotta remember Active Time Law because, yeah, it's clearly gonna have information all the time. And if we don't read it, we miss it. I hear Bubba. Bu bu hey, Bubby. Can I not pet Bubby? Apparently not. It'll hold for now. This place is so pretty. I have a feeling this place is so pretty is something I'm going to say a lot in this game. Eh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck, help! Mom! 
Moogle plus my own cat going meow. Hello, Moogle. I don't see anything. Oh, hello, botanist. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Mm. But we don't want to go... Okay, we're fine. We're, we're going to completely the opposite direction to where we're supposed to go, and that's the key! That's the key to gaming. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Ooh, we can get rid of the brand? That would be cool. Is it like a tattoo? Or is it burnt on? I'm not entirely sure. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? These apples are foul! <laughs> Is that it? Is that everywhere? I think that's everywhere. Okay. Let's go see Jill! Or just Sid. <laughs> just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. It's not my fault. <sighs> Mum's a bitch. What's she gonna do? A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. <laughs> this is fun. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered Aww. by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Aww. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. 
The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. It's nice to have a chatty ready, protagonist. Then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. I mean, obviously we have um, protagonists who do, you know, they do have purpose, but they don't speak very much in a lot of the, the FF games I love. Um, this is a refreshing change. Clive's actually very verbal about his his mission, his goal. Even if he is a little clueless, a clueless baby. Let's talk to Sid. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? I'm sorry, but I need you to see to my dot 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 equipment, really. <laughs> I'm coughing now and it's my own fault. Uh, hand over the room. Here you are. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. Goots! All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goots, mind. A favor to Goots, aka you gave me rum, so forging. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I uh, uh, <laughs> come on, nearly there. You, blankets, quick as you like. All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there, some old face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? <laughs> I'm not part of this! <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, Clive, but I you are. Myself in too. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Um, can I see Jill? 
<laughs> I'm sorry that I don't care more. Is Tai the one looking after Jill? Exactly. I'm sorry that I don't care more about this dying man. But I want to see Jill. <laughs> I really want to see Jill. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. <sighs> He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Hmm. Another fine day at the hideaway. So many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy Karen, to help you. okay. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. Side quest unlocked. Do like me some side quests. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's uh... <laughs> quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones on account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Uh, maybe. I have a few new notes that might interest you. So this is a lot of lore. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. <laughs> if you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. That was so cute. Ah, so this is all the lore. So this is, uh, yeah, it's all the lore. This is all the active time stuff. Ah, a new face, and, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. <laughs> so I have to be a waiter? I don't see why not. Sure. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Looks like curry to me. Oh, meal. How long 
has it been? Uh, did anyone else see the evil look Clive gave him? He's like, fuck you, making me take meals to people. Who do you think I am? Hello, sir, would you like some food? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Yeah. Oh, it's salt broth. Salt broth does not... I guess salt broth could be like shio ramen, like salty ramen, but it looks like curry to me. Salt broth does not sound particularly delicious. I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Come on, Clive. Hearing all these stories, you have to be thinking that you want to stay and help, right? You better hide, hide away for now. Um, anyone else need food? Food! I have food! I have salt broth! Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Ah. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... Men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? Yeah. Give me stuff! The contents of my strongbox are yours give me to stuff. do with as give you Give me will. stuff, give me, give me, give me stuff. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Quest complete! Yeah. Miserable amount of experience, but... Let's go open the box! Yay, treasure coffers! Go on now, no one's looking! <laughs> like how he just kicks it open. Now. That's all. Why, you're barely a guilty of name! We're taking his side now. 
And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. Clive has a really beautiful voice. <laughs> nice work, voice actor. Collect the supplies! Oh, what did I do? The aret? Areti? Hmm. Oh. I missed him. Probably easier if he wasn't so small. Jump. Woo! Okay, I'll stop dicking around in here for now. <laughs> I'll play around later. Play around later. Um, exit. Yeah. That's cool then. You all done? I want to see Jill. Mm. Leaving already, are you? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? I want fun? to. Right. I want to. I want to see Jill. 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 Fast travel, all right. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'll keep this in the uh, video or not. We'll see. But for now, it is break time because I have to go and get ready for work. Yay! Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have a moment. <laughs> and I really hope to see you uh, continue this journey with me through Final Fantasy 16. Having a lot of fun so far. Even though I'm complaining a lot about not getting to see Jill. Yeah. <laughs> Bye!